what, what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Kanye West has apologized to his wife, Kim Kardashian West, after he attacked her with a series of tweets, including one that says he's been trying to divorce her for some time now. He also <laughs> called her mother, Chris jong un <laughs> Whoa, I guess he's trying to say that a mother acts like a dictator. In any event, dude, is, this is textbook Kanye West apologizing. Now, before I go too far, let me just get this out of the way real fast. For those of you who like to come on the platforms and comment about things that you're not interested in, and you use your proverbial, who cares? You care. That's why you say who cares. That's why you're commenting, who cares? See, when I don't care, I ignore. I pay it no attention whatsoever. It gets none of my energy, none of my time. Well, man, you know, that's more pressing issues than discussed by Kanye West, man. Da, 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 da. There are, and I do discuss those issues if you go through my timeline. If you check out my video, uh, you know, my videos, you will see. Check out my gallery. I got a whole bunch of videos talking about a whole lot of serious issues. And let me tell you something. The reason I'm talking about this is not the gossip. This is serious stuff. And this is something that you can actually apply to your own life. You know what? You know what the lesson here is, fam? First and foremost, make sure you get with somebody that's equally yoked, that you're equally yoked to. You know, when you base your life, when you base your relationship off of what a person does for life, or you just base it off of how somebody look, you know, when you base it off of what they do in life, what their profession is, you're going to have problems. You're going to have some major problems. And that's what dude did. He saw Kim on that video sucking up Ray J. Man, I want Wee. I want that. I think I want her to be the mother of my children. Okay, if it wasn't that video, perhaps it was the various photographs he's seen, you know, on the internet where she almost has nothing on. He's getting what he deserved. She's getting what she deserved because she knew he was cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. She already knew that. But she wanted to marry him anyway because he was Kanye West. A uh, superstar. So, both of them are getting what they get. Another lesson here. If you live under the same roof with somebody, why the hell are you tweeting your apologies? Talk to them. It's your wife. Pick up, okay, pick up the phone. If you're not around her, if you if you if you're estranged, if you're separated, or whatever, pick the damn phone up, Facetime, send an email, send a message through her. Well, not a mama, because you know a mama probably mad at him right now, but send a message to your assistant. Call her assistant. You don't have to get on the internet and apologize to someone who you're married to. Crazy fam. So there's always a lesson 
when I get this information, fam, I ain't just talking to just be talking. When I put a video out there, it's always an angle in there somewhere where you can learn something, where you can get some information from. Now, some of y'all who know everything, you don't need the information. But there are other people that might need some information, may, may not know that this ain't the best way to go about handling your business in a relationship. This reality show stuff, if you're in a marriage, I understand that the opportunity to get money and exposure is alluring. But when you have, when you have a solid relationship, or even if your relationship ain't solid, you go get do a reality show, it's pretty much over. Almost every single couple who has done a reality show have divorced. It's almost like, okay, we ain't got nothing else to lose. Let's just go do a little money grab and, you know, get some exposure and then ride on off into the sunset because that's what happens. Even when you have one, usually you have one who's more famous than the other. And what happens? That one put that other person on. As soon as that person get on, choom, gone. That's the reality. So I would be very care careful if I was, if you're out there thinking about getting on a reality show to get on and, and you really serious about your relationship, I would be very, very careful about offering up that type of exposure, like exposing myself to something like that. Because they put up cameras everywhere. They put cameras all in your car, several cameras in your car, uh, in every room in your house. You have no privacy. So you got to be very, very careful with that. Just multiple lessons can be learned when you analyze this relationship thing. And guess what, fam? If you think that is wild right now, it's really just getting started. And why are people always making excuses for Kanye, especially black people? Well, you know the man bipolar. Bipolar? Let me say that I understand that bipolar disorder is a serious thing. Mental health is a serious issue. But Kanye hides behind it. I know several people with bipolar disorder who are not tap dancing sambos. Okay? My bandmate has been diagnosed with bipolar disorder. He's not a tap dancing sambo. He don't go out of his way to disparage his own people. He's not dismissive of slavery. The greatest atrocity known to his people. Let me tell you something, fam. I feel nothing for Kanye. Nothing at all. If Kanye was Dante, nobody would care. Each time Kanye has a new project about to come out, he always says or does something controversial, especially in regards to black people. Now, is that really bipolarism? I don't think so. I think it's calculated. Every time I look at that dude, I think to myself, there isn't a swear word to describe him. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?